What's up everybody, Mr. Beans here, and on this episode of our informative series, we have decided to fulfill a request that we received from our friend Twana, and I apologize already if I have mispronounced that, but we did receive a request to go ahead and do a 1999 collection on the McDonald's Teeny Beanies. So, you know, me being Mr. Beans and I am nothing if not a team player, we are absolutely going to go ahead and do that today. So let's talk about the 1999 collection. So I have most of it here right in front of us. <clears throat> this is a complete, 100% complete collection that we are going to be going through and discussing here. Now, just like I mentioned in all of my McDonald's teeny beanie videos in regards to any teenies that were released, made and released for uh, the U.S. market, um, again, we are dealing with things that have very low values. This particular year, this collection, namely the four bears we have lined up in the back here, uh, that is incredibly controversial due to there is just so much mis misinformation about some of these pieces. We will absolutely dive into that. For starters, I want to kind of break this down into three parts where we discuss it, okay? Uh, the beginning part being the bagged collection that we have here in front of us. Now, just like the 1998 set, uh, this one also has 12 different distinct teeny beanies in it. All of them have their own bags, different colors. They are numbered one through 12. Now, this particular run, just very, very similar setup and marketing strategy by McDonald's as they did the year prior with the 1998 collection. Uh, this was set to run all of these for one month period uh, from May 21st until June 17th, that being in 1999. Now, they had it separated a little bit, right guys? So. What they did was for the first two weeks of this collection, they were going to run just the bag teenies. So let's talk about them first. Uh, from May 21st until June 3rd, the first two weeks, these are what were available to the public. And we will go through these now. Number one, we have Freckles the Leopard. A lot of these ones did get renamed. Actually, we have one right here with number two, Ancy the Anteater, and his Beanie Baby counterpart was Ants the Anteater. So a little bit of a rebrand on our Anteater friend here, Ancy. Number three, we have Smoochie the Frog. One of the bigger packagings from this set, larger teeny. Still a teeny nonetheless. They all have relatively the same uh, smaller demeanor and size and scale compared to a normal beanie baby. Number four, we have Spunky the Cocker Spaniel. Number five, Rocket the Blue Jay. Number six, Iggy the Iguana. Number seven, Strut the Rooster. Number eight, Nuts the Squirrel. Number nine, we have Claude the Crab with this really electric green packaging here. Very cool. Number 10, another rename. We have Stretchy the Ostrich. The Beanie Baby, original Beanie Baby being named Stretch. Number 11, another rename, we have Nook the Husky. 
the Beanie Baby being named Nanook. And finally, we have number 12, Chip the Cat. Chip was the Calico Cat, as we can see here. So unlike in my previous videos, uh, for $19.99, I actually am not certain of the quantities produced, but we can definitely look back on what they did in the past and realize that we are going to still be discussing numbers in the millions per each bagged beanie. My guess would be that they replicated what they did in 1998 and absolutely I would have expected them to order somewhere in the vicinity of 10 to 20 million of each of these for a total anywhere ranging from 120 to 240 million individual teenies. They knew that that worked for them the year prior and I'm sure they followed that same exact method. I cannot verify. I'm sure there probably are some articles somewhere uh, if you can sift through all of the misinformation uh, that could verify that. But let's move on to the next phase here. So like I said, these 12 were released for the first two weeks of the production. And it did run for a full month. What they ended up doing in 1999 that was different from all the other years prior was they came out with these four, which were known as the International Bears. And these guys ran from June 3rd until June 17th, finishing out the four week run. Now here's where it was different. These international bears were not a part of Happy Meals like all of the prior bag teenies had been. What they ended up doing with these guys is these were available for an additional $2.49 and you could purchase them you were able to spend that money and purchase them once you bought any, any food product from McDonald's. So these were really the first ones released that were specifically aimed at adult collectors. They did not just come with a teeny or with a Happy Meal. You could purchase these separately for an additional $2.49 with any meal purchase. And because of that, guys, uh, this is where these get misconstrued. Let's talk about them real quickly. We do have Britannia the Bear, Aaron the Irish Bear, Glory the American Bear, and we have our friend Maple the Canadian. So there is a lot, a lot of misconceptions around these four. And to be honest, guys, I understand completely how this happened, right? Because these ones were the very first teenies released by McDonald's that were, let's say, special, okay, that you had to purchase them separately. A lot of people got it in their head that these were extremely rare, that you had to be one of the one of the few people apparently that went to McDonald's and was wise enough to make that purchase. Here's what gets forgotten about these four bears. You no longer were tied to having to buy a Happy Meal. There were so many of these four international bears produced because McDonald's knew they wanted to have enough on hand to be able to sell them to people with the purchase of any meal product. So you could go there and buy a Big Mac, a, a 20 piece McNugget, whatever, and you could literally buy this entire set of four for an additional $10. And people did it by the boatload, okay? As a matter of fact, I will go so far, even though we have discussed numbers in the hundreds of millions up to this point for the 1997 collection, for the 1998 collection, for this here 1999 bagged collection, we are talking about production numbers somewhere rivaling half a billion teeny beanies. And even with that knowledge in mind, guys, for as long as I've been doing this and the Facebook groups I've been a part of and watching over the eBay markets constantly, these four international bears, as far as teeny beanies are concerned, these four turn up for sale more often 
than any other teenies I have ever seen. And it, I get it, people do think that they're rare. They think that they were specialty because they had to be bought special. Guys, so many of these were produced. This was such a brilliant marketing ploy by McDonald's. And I get it, they have the nice fancy cardboard packaging. They show up constantly. I have seen people asking hundreds of dollars for the complete set of four in this day and age, which is just unfathomable, guys. You can absolutely get on eBay, any online marketplace. You can pick these up for less than what they cost you in 1999. You can probably get all four of these off of someone that is just dying to get rid of them for around a dollar a piece, something in that range. One, maybe two dollars a piece for the cardboard guys. And going back to the bag beanies, 1999 was no different than 97 or 98. These should roughly run somewhere valued around 50 cents a piece. You can maybe get the entire collection somewhere in the five to ten dollar range. And I, if you are spending ten dollars, I would absolutely expect all four international bears to be included in that set. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and talk about phase three of this. The one final thing, and the one I am about to show on camera here is by far the rarest of the 16 I have on display. I use the word rare very loosely here, my friends. What we have here is another Glory the Bear. And you can say, oh, well, we have Glory here in the background in the International Bear set. Absolutely we do. This Glory the Bear is identical to the International one in every single way except it has a different swing tag. And just like all other teenies that were produced up until this point, all the other years, everything, all of these bagged ones, even the international bears, teeny beanie swing tags are one, uh, they do not fold, they are not booklet style. It is just one, on, you know, writing on this side, turn it over, writing on that side. It is a flat swing tag, that is how they always did teeny beanies except for this glory this one is different it does mimic a beanie baby in that we can kind of see here on the camera that it is a booklet style why is that this as we read on the package here glory the bear was mcdonald's crew only when the 1999 collection rolled out on may 21st these were given to McDonald's employees only. These were not available for sale to the public, and it was just done on the first day of the promotion. If you were there working that day, you, and you were an employee for McDonald's, you were given this bear, and uh, yeah. So this is a crew exclusive glory, still sealed in the package, and guess what, guys? This is also not very valuable. You can absolutely go ahead, and I mean, if we think about it, if we really think about it, nationwide throughout the entire United States, all of the people during this run that were working for McDonald's were given this bear. Again, we are talking about absolutely thousands of McDonald's employees received this, and as such, it does surface pretty much nonstop on the secondary market. You should have zero trouble hopping on eBay and going ahead and getting yourself this McDonald's Crew Exclusive Glory. Should not be much of an issue. If there are none that are reasonably priced at any given time, just give it a couple of days. It will surface at a reasonable rate. I would say this is by far the hardest to find of the 17 that we have here. This does encompass everything that was made available uh, during the 1999 run. This crew exclusive glory should be able to pick him up for $5 on his own or less. You might be able to do it less. Um, it is, you know, the same size as all the others in the plastic packaging. It should ship to you relatively cheap. Um, so, I mean, maybe with shipping costs, you might go a little over $5, but it shouldn't be anything crazy. You should definitely be able to find him and purchase him really, really reasonable and round out your 1999 teeny collection. Well, guys, I believe that is everything that I had in store for you today. Twana, thank you again so much for requesting this video. I love doing these informatives for you guys. We will absolutely be back with more in the near future. This was the 1999 collection of the McDonald's Teenies. 
And as always, guys, I am Mr. Beans, and I hope you had a fantastic time.